Every day, timber, pulp wood and biofuel worth billions are produced in our forests. The trees are cut, based on decisions taken with the help of the harvester's computer. Today's harvesters can be controlled to make very specific products. It is a fantastic tool for streamlining the entire manufacturing process from forest to industry. At the same time, it places demands on dimension measurement in the harvester. With constantly increasing requirements for measurement accuracy, it is extremely important to perform a daily control and calibrate the sensors in the cutting head when needed. Not only for a higher measurement precision, but also for a better general condition of the harvester. A well-functioning measurement makes the cutting head work smoother, as it decreases the turns and reverse of the log in the cutting head. This will provides a better ergonomics for the driver and reduces the fuel consumption which is better for the economy and environment. All modern harvesting computers can be set to random trees for manual control measurement. Random selected trees are often an important part of various national quality control system. In order to impartially control measurement differences between harvester and control, the harvester driver can also choose trees for control measurement himself. Random selected trees are basically measured in the same way as the pre-selected trees. But varying national quality control system can prescribe different rules, for example, that a diameter position must not be moved, or that no diameter may be skipped. The control logs, should be placed upon a bench of logs or trees, so that you will create space, and can measure along the entire log, using the caliper. This special arrangement of the logs, also makes it easier to tell which are the control logs and not among the other logs on the ground. Therefore, be extra careful when setting up and place the control logs. You save both time, energy, and get a better measurement result, if placing and preparing the logs in a good way from the start. A correct length and diameter control requires concentration, and that you are accurate. Make mistakes, and the control measurement is not worth anything, or even makes it worse if the data are used to calibrate the harvester. So measuring as Benny Hill is not a good idea, if you want to get a good result. Prior to the control measurement, the dimensions of the felling head are transferred from the harvester computer to the caliper. The control measurement is done log by log. When using a manual measuring tape, make sure to disable the free scaling option in the caliper system menu. The tape hook is set at the root end of the log. It is important that the hook is completely pressed into the wood and that it is perpendicular to the log. Otherwise the length will be incorrect. Pay attention to measuring tape with resilient hooks. These can give the wrong length if the hook is not properly secured. The measuring tape is pulled out along the log, and laid down on top. Round to the nearest centimeter. Here we have a log that is to be registered as 491. Then enter the value it into the caliper. Had the tape measure ended this way, the log would have been 492. So this log should be registered as 491. 
The first diameter is the log's top diameter. The top diameter is measured 10 cm in from the top cut end of the log. After the top diameter, the diameter measurements are taken at each meter along the log from the top, down to the root end. Since logs are rarely completely round, the diameter is measured by two diameters per measurement, in order to get as good an estimate of the average diameter as possible. The two diameters measure at 90 degrees angle to each other. The rule of thumb is that, where the ruler is at the first measure, one jaw of the caliper should lie when the second measure is taken. The caliper can be set up to display different pre-warning messages, that can be of great help for the user. This can be selected in the application, such as our machine diameter in plane area, decreasing diameter, non-circular diameter and diameter drop area. The harvester computer's filtering allows no elevated dimensions in the direction from the root end up to the top, but adjusts the stem profile to a straight line between the point where the stem diameter begins to rise until the diameter is back to the starting level again. The line is called a plane area. If control measurement is done at the elevated point, the harvester computer's filtered measurement values and the control measured value will differ, sometimes markedly. Neither is the top diameter measured at an elevated dimension. All control measurements are done on bark. If the bark is lost, you should primarily seek directions where the bark remains. It is always possible to remeasure a diameter or length. Use the left or right key on the caliper to step backward or forward. To skip a diameter, for example when bark is missing, just press forward. The caliper can display different pre-warning messages, such as a machine diameter in plane area. Diameters in a plane area should not be measured, and the user is recommended to skip such a diameter. The caliper can also display various post-warning messages such as a non-circular diameter. The caliper can make a special sound if there is a large difference between the caliper and the machine. The driver should ensure that no mistake was done during measuring, and remeasure the diameter if this is required. On rare occasions some felling heads, have trouble measuring the length of the last pulpwood log, due to top break or other reasons. Check that the machine measured length does not deviate significantly from the other controlled lengths. In such a case, you should interrupt the measurement without measure the last log. When the control measurement is completed, a number of key figures from the caliper data are calculated that show whether the machine measure length and diameter are as correct as possible. You can also look more closely at the results on a computer. If the key figures show that the machine is measuring poorly, it may be because some component of the measurement system is broken or missing. The measuring system may also need to be calibrated. The result volume shows the differences in machine measured volume and the control measured volume. Note that it can be misleading to determine whether the machine measures good or bad based on a volume comparison as length and diameter deviation can take each other out. The calibration potential result is more useful in determining whether a calibration can improve the machine's performance. If the calibration potential is zero or small, one should not make a calibration based on the data from in the caliper. Do not calibrate if you know that there is a mechanical fault on the machine, never calibrate with a small amount of data. In normal case at least 5 trees per species are needed. It is important to clean the caliper from dirt and resin. Especially resin, when the resin is often builds and becomes thicker and thicker. That will affect the diameter measurement negatively, and give the wrong diameter as a result. Use some form of alcohol, such as isopropanol, and clean the scale and the jaws on caliper. Alcohol will remove resin. Make sure all resin is gone especially on the jaws, as it affects the diameter measurement and gives the wrong value. The best way to take care of the equipment is to wipe it up with alcohol after each measurement. Then it is easy to remove the resin before it has dried and become hard.
Just as important as the caliper being clean and calibrated is that the jaws have the right angle. The jaws may need to be adjusted after some time of use. The right and left jaw are adjusted with a 2mm Allen key. Ensure that the caliper measure correctly. Use the calibration template with fixed diameter values located on the caliper holder in the cab. Check the fixed values from the template that they correspond to what the caliper shows. If the values do not match, the caliper must be calibrated before use. Calibrate the caliper. For best results, use the calibration template. Choose settings in the menu in the Skullman application. Then choose others. Step to calibrate in the menu and press enter. Then follow the instructions in the display. Set the caliper at 0 mm and press enter. Place the caliper on 500 mm in the calibration template and press enter. You can also read about this in the user manual. Check the manual measuring tape. Use the calibration template and check that the measuring tape shows 500 millimeters.